Hi guys, it's Ali from uh, JCW Ventures. Just going to give a quick overview of my JCW. Uh, a lot of people ask what kind of mods I've got in the car, so I'll give a quick overview of them. See the car it is at the moment. Obviously, naturally, everything going at the moment. We've got all the time in the world. Obviously, do stay indoors. Don't go out if any dries and stay safe, guys. So, I'll just switch over the camera now. We'll have a quick overview of the car. So, yeah, guys, just going to give a quick overview of my 2011 JCW. Uh, this was all obviously built to my spec uh, back in 2011. So, I ordered it in March 2011. Got delivery in June 2011. Uh, obviously built to my spec. Everything that I conceivably wanted on it, I got it within reason. Uh, naturally, I did add. I've added stuff over time, but uh, yeah. But this is generally just a quick overview. See, one of the, the best mods that I've sort of done is all sort of capsulated in this sort of part here. So I've got the GP2 brakes uh, sitting on KDB Club Sports. Arguably one of the best two mods I've done on the car, just given the level of performance on the JCW. Uh, I don't feel like over time when I'm done track days and everything that the calipers are up to scratch, but the GP2 ones bring it back where it should be. Uh, I've seen the KW Club Sports, added later on because I do track t I do do track days. So having an extra bit of compliance on the road and on and track is amazing. Obviously, naturally, they added camber, so that's added a lot to the car. Uh, but now it's uh, everything on it is essentially perfect. So then, yeah, uh, going from back from the brakes onwards, I got the carbon mirror caps uh, i've got the JW, jcw side skulls so standard ones and obviously what all i've done is added on the recent it's added on the recent um audi style repeater um, um, led strike so they strike and move along um and then going across there got the jcw side stripe i don't know if you can see it in the sun properly yet but there we go so obviously another jcw accessory um currently sitting in my uh, michelin's so these are my all-season tyres, but then, like okay, now, when we head into the summer, I added my uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4s, arguably, arguably one of the best all-round tyres, some performance tyres you can get. And actually, these are all stickers from the trips that I've been. Car's been around the ring now, so I've broken that cherry. Um, so, yeah. We've got the mini original sun blinds put in, um, just to keep the car cool in the summer. Then, actually, going to the black back of the car, we've got the... The black line clip on the car, so the black blacked out rear lights over there. Um, and then from there, I got the carbon fiber boot lead handle. So just about, just about there. Yeah, so there we go. I prefer the metal style number plates, so I added them on. Well, it was one of the first few mods that I did to the car for metal plates. Um, there, naturally. Got the GP2 uh, rear diffuser, then the front under tray. So that did make the car a lot more stable at high speeds. I did notice when it's stretching legs on track and then on the autobahn that I have done. Um, so yeah, that's covers that side of things. And then we're sort of moving over to another side, uh, a bit more to the front actually this time around. Uh, so yeah, so the black headlight rings. Got the black headlights. I've got the mini official DRLs, so I've spotting them there, I've seen the sunlight, the car's not on, so they're not running. I've um, got the carbon fibre air scoop on, got a mini accessory, try to keep it mini as original as possible. Same thing I've done, if you can see in there, I've got the mini zone dash cam. Uh, for them scenarios, just keep everything saved and obviously keep the car safe as well. Um, that other white tag is there when we go across Europe and stuff uh, in France. So when I'm through going through the toll booths, it just sort of pays and you sort of drive through. Uh, underneath the bonnet, I'll show that a bit later on, but we'll just go to the interior now. Yeah, so just on the driver's side more than anything. So I went for the red cutter line. So that's with that. So yeah, here we go with it. Um, so we've got the red colour line trimmed, which goes across from the door rest, goes across the dash, um, and then to the arm rest basically, which brings a bit more colour. So now spec in the car is a bit too much of black inside the interior, so liven that up. Obviously one of the best things ever, the Recaro seats in the car. You can sit in them for five or six hours, drive over there and everywhere, and they're literally just perfect. Um, but yeah. Obviously, the beautiful thing then being now Kantara as well. So we've got the leather, leather side bolts in our Kantara centers. So it's when it's in the summer and stuff, when you sit in the car, our Kantara is, doesn't burn your back like it would in the leathers. So the, that's nice, comfortable. And then moving over 
another side sort of dive trim I've got now uh, more recently later in the car. Got the carbon door pulls, another mini accessory. I have bought the carbon dash. Uh, so I've only done that side at the moment. Um, don't fancy taking the speed, uh, the auxiliary gauges off and then getting to the dash. I'll probably let Mini do that. Obviously that's still got my um, my Joker there on the side when I've got the Batman dash trims in. Yeah, so a bit more a bit more carbon trim. So I've got the carbon handbrake and a carbon gear knob just there. Um, another great uh, mod, that um, carbon fiber gear knob. Doesn't seem like it does much, uh, just the throw of the gear changes as well. And having the Alcantara on the back, that makes a massive different change. Uh, just the way the gear, when you're going through the gears and everything, so it's a lot more easy. It kind of acts like a short shifter, so you, it actually quite sits lower than a normal JW gear knob. Than the standard one, which is that normal silver one. That does make a massive change. Um, did have the steering wheel retrimmed later on. So I've got the, the Napa leather. With the 12 o'clock band there at the top uh, and then I've kept the uh, obviously with the JSW and uh, mine being a facelift you've got the black buttons everywhere so that suits in with that and then obviously you've got the carbon trim at the bottom I just like a little smattering of carbon didn't want to go too overload with the carbon so roughly where you're touching and you're sort of seeing in your direct line of sight of the driver you sort of have that it's going to move the seat back sort of jump in and show you so what I see all the time basically, um, but yeah, so I have got the auxiliary gauges, so that's sort of your boost pressure, how much power you're running, basically the power gauge, kind of like the Phantom Rolls Royces, where you sort of go from 0 and then to 100 when you're on full throttle, 100%, and if I sort of move the steering rope, So yeah, that's more of your temperature gain now for the water. Uh, JCWs naturally run hot, so when you get to about 108, that's when that's when you know you're roughly fully warmed up. The car's all fully warmed up. So normally say that about that, that takes about five or six minutes, about two songs are normally, and then the car's ready to go. All good to go from that point of view. Give it a quick turn off. Um, yeah, so that covers that side of things. Yeah, like I said, I've turned the. I have got the the dash cam up there, but I've unplugged it because the car's sitting; it's not driving anywhere. Because obviously, this has got a parking mode, so it records when it's parked. So I've ta taken that off so it doesn't drain the battery more than it should do. Um, whilst we're sort of sitting there, uh, just normal standard JCW stuffs in this car as well. So I've got the the blacked out dials as a standard sort of trim sort of thing um i didn't really spec much in the interior wise because i kept it kind of simple obviously the one of the major things was um getting a harman kardon um that makes a massive difference for over the stock sort of sound and noise uh something i wish i should have done at the time was get heated seats but hey ho it is what it is um but yeah generally there that we do usb socket uh from sort of me charging my phone on the trips that i go to <laughs> That's not a mini thing, that's like a ball bit mount, then I've added like a matic strip on top of it so I can essentially just magnetise my phone. So when you're driving it's kind of perfect, you get sat nav directions, so this car just sort of sits there, uh, the phone just sort of sits there within eyesight so you're not leaving eye the eyes off the road too much, uh, like compared to the normal stock sat nav, which would be sitting here essentially so it's right next to it and even then, the beautiful thing is you can sort of turn it around because it's magnetic. But now that sort of covers everything on the interior side of things. Kept it quite simple, uh, just left it as elegant as possible basically. Right, and now I'm going to put more of the engine bay stuff. Um, so I've got the strut brace and then the AME air intake. Um, so obviously that actually just uses, uh, gets more air into the car, makes it run a bit better. Uh, other than that, standard stock ECU, everything like that. 130,000 miles on this car and it's still... So puts a far smile on my face. The only thing that doesn't put a smile on my face is the at the level of oil that it eats at the moment. So after about a thousand miles, I'm I'm going through about about a litre of oil. So I should end up buying shares in Castro uh, to get some of my money back. But other than that, yeah. So you got the um, air intake and the strut brace. 
Uh, and then obviously, naturally, like I said before, the KDB Club Sports. So they were set up by Lowen. Um, just have a bit of drivability on the road. So it's actually more compliant than a standard JCW. Just in uh, than stock form. So it rides over the, uh, the bumps a bit more better. And then naturally... Um, it just runs a bit smoother. Well, obviously, like naturally, the, t the turning now is something ridiculous, especially on the on the Michelin Pilot Spot fours. You just sort of turn in, pick, pick a line, and off you go, and you'll stick to it. Uh, body rolls non-existent now, uh, but no, it's been a good kit name. I know he gets a lot of flack off online, but I've I've been running the kit for now about since 2013 when it freshly came out. Uh, no fires in the engine bay, not melting any engine covers. I guess that depended on your climate, if anyone's running a tune. Naturally, these engines do run hot. Uh, mine being an N14 as well, uh, they do naturally just run hot. That's just for emissions to keep uh, to keep it where it is, basically. So a hot burn, that will get the cat up and running nice and warm. <laughs> Gives you better results uh, when you have to do a emissions test. But yeah, naturally, the minis do run hot, but it is what it is. Um, part of the fuel economy, all the gain that you get there. But obviously, you're naturally keeping the engine bay cool. It's a bit harder. Uh, given where everything is quite tightly packed up, but now everything is sort of stuck in there essentially, uh, kept it minimal, keep the car going for long periods of time. So yeah, that essentially covers that guys, so um, so I sort of flipped the camera back to me, but yeah, that's all with my JCW, still love it to bits, does everything I need it to do when I'm going long road trips or on the track or everything like that, but I still believe it's the perfect car that I bought back in 2011. Coming on near nine years now in June, um, 130 plus thousand miles on the clock. Still wouldn't change it for the world, but that, that's an overview, guys. But I'll do more videos uh, about the N14 engine, any other JCW stuff, for kind of the best uh, mods and everything. Obviously, naturally, everything that I'm sort of writing and all the videos do, they all chime back into the um, website that I've got, jcwadventures.com. Uh, so anything, comments, drop me, and I'll see this will be the start of my you sort of YouTube channel. So uh, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see more when all this stuff is on and with the with the coronavirus gone and I'll meet you at some shows. Whether it's this year or next year or when I'm doing cross my travels again. I do to do mini takes to states again, but obviously naturally that's cancelled as well. So hopefully I'll see you guys the US guys in twenty twenty one. And in, in since then guys keep safe and as always it's a mini adventure, try and keep up.